Hey everybody, Tyler here, Boulevard Home. Today we're talking about refrigerators and what's the problem when your refrigerator is not level. So as you can see at this refrigerator here, the doors are off. This could be on any type of refrigerator, whether it's a side-by-side -side refrigerator, a French door refrigerator, which we'll also talk about today. Why is it important to figure out how to get that refrigerator level? What are the benefits of that? Because if a refrigerator is not level, there's some issues that that can cause. One is look, right? You see the look, it looks off. That's an issue. However, there's more to it than that. The coolant inside the refrigerator may not work how it's supposed to work if the refrigerator is not level. Most refrigerators are recommended to be tilted slightly. They want to be about a quarter inch higher on the front than the back. To easily see if, if you're off a little bit, you can grab a level. I have just a simple level right here. It's easy to tell is, is it off or not on here. Um, this door looks pretty level. However, this door is not level. You do it on the side as well because the front of the fridge should be about a quarter inch higher than the back for the coolant to circulate throughout your fridge correctly. If the coolant's not circulating, if it's leaning to one side more than the others and it's pooling up somewhere, it may cause uh, cooling issues. It may cause your, even your ice maker not to function properly. And if your ice maker is not functioning properly, watch this video here and we'll be able to show you some great tips on how to figure out and troubleshoot why your ice maker may not be working. So let's get into it. Let's figure out simply, because it's a very simple process, how do you get those doors level? How do you make the refrigerator level so that it works as it should be? For the most part, the only tools you're gonna need is some type of wrench. You may be able to use a, a socket wrench as well, a screwdriver, depending on the fridge that you have. With the side-by-side, -side, this is a GE model. You always, to, to get the doors level, what you wanna do is go to the bottom of the fridge, so there's always a grate at the bottom of the fridge. You wanna take that off. This grate, all you need is a, refri or a screwdriver. There's a, two screws here on each side to get this grate off. You come in, you get under the screws, and then you pull off the grate to access the area where you can level the refrigerator. Okay, one quick tip we wanted to share with you is not all refrigerators require you to take off the lower uh, bracket to access the screw that allows you to adjust the doors. For example, this Whirlpool fridge, or this GE fridge right here, as well as some Whirlpool side-by-sides, the screw at the bottom of the refrigerator door is exposed. So to level the doors, this is an easy model because this door on this side has a levering uh, function, which allows you to use a wrench, and all you have to do is screw it one way or the other, which will adjust the fridge door up and down. We'll do that right here. As you can see under here, we'll, we'll We'll just turn it some, you know, a handful of turns. So I just adjusted the bolt that pushes the door up. On this specific model, there's only adjustable bolt on one door. If that does not fix the problem of your, your off uh, level doors, what you then want to look at is adjusting on this one, the roller feet. There's different levels in doing that. To adjust that, you go down here. And there's, a bit, there's another screw here. This screw right here, if you look at that one, you adjust that and it can lock the roller feet at different levels. And that screw is on each side, so it's there. And then you also can see one right here. And by adjusting that, it'll adjust the front feet up and down. Okay, right behind me here is a French door refrigerator. These are a little different than a side-by-side -side refrigerator because the doors don't go all the way to the ground. The leveling function is slightly different and we'll show you here, you need to go about it the same way. You need to go to the bottom of the fridge, take off uh, the, the, the grate on the bottom. On this fridge, many times you need to open up the freezer to remove it, but it may come off without it, but it's always a little easier. Pull out the freezer, you can access that grate a lot easier. You pull it off on each side. So you pull that off and then the grate's off. So you can access it. It's easier to see it when the, when the freezer is open. But now you can see we have these leveling feet here that the weight of the fridge rests on top of those. Typically when your refrigerator is off level, what that means is you need to adjust those feet, those front feet up or down, which will then adjust the, the levels of the doors to get it visually correct. And then you wanna make sure the rest of the fridge is level as well. This particular instance, this right door is lower than the left door. What that means is you need to raise the right side up a little bit more than the left side. To do that is very simple. You grab a wrench, you, you grab, wrap it around one of the feet here. So when you're, when you're moving this foot, if you move it clockwise, typically it raises the fridge up. So we'll just raise this right side up, turn it a handful of times. And by doing that, it's gonna adjust 
uh, the whole cavity of the fridge and we'll put it on a level uh, surface. So as we checked that, it wasn't quite level, it was really close. So just raise it a couple more times. What that will allow you to do is now see that the doors here are now level. We saw a big difference a few seconds ago. Simple fix that anybody at home can do on most any refrigerator. Grab a pair of pliers, adjust the feet, and that alone will adjust your doors and make your refrigerator work more efficiently and look more pleasing to the eye. Thanks for watching today. Hopefully this tip helped you fix your refrigerator at your home. Ring the bell, subscribe. We'd love to hear your comments below for more information and have a great day. Did you hear the big crash?